Dragonite, eh? Yeah, I totally remember that until just now because Dragonite isn't a very notable Pokemon in my book. I like how you just freaking shoot the leech seeds. Pretty great. What? Well, I, I thought you were over the other way. Whatever. HP drain for you. Hurt your babies. Can you be KO'd by... I guess you can be KO'd by Leech Seed, but for some reason I never really considered that as a thing that could KO you. I'm going to kill you entirely through HP Drain, Dragony. Or maybe through HP Drain and then being able to spam attacks while taking damage because I'm being HP filled so quickly. Your stupid attacks don't have any effect on me. Ow. Maybe they have effects on me when I'm being raped by a bunch of Kaboo Tops. One, 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 one. Why is it doing three or four damage to it, but only one to me healing? It's not fair. Why aren't you getting... Oh, wait, you're still HP drained. Okay. Goodbye, Dragonite. No, you attacked it and scared it away, Team Rocket. What have you done? It is only a baby Dragonite or something. That episode was stupid because I didn't like Dragonite very much, and then all real Dragonites became disappointing because they weren't like 50 meters tall and roared. Okay, yeah, I got lots of cool stuff. So what are my Pokedexes like? Not very much. I guess when you catch a Ditto, does it work for everywhere? Because what is that thing next to Marowak? I swear on my TV it looks like a weird teddy bear. I guess it's a Mr. Mime. Yeah, actually, it's definitely Mr. Mom. What am I talking about? It would make sense for it to... I didn't even find something on Bright Beach. Yeah, well, as per canon, there are way too many rock and water types. Do I have enough things to do cool stuff to? I think I've ran out of unevolved Pokemon, but... Whatever. Let's see. Do I... I'm going to have to go all the way down. I remember I got a comment saying that I had enough... Raditas for Eradicate, and I missed one, but I think I sold all of them already, probably. That makes sense. I have no idea why I've even bothered doing that. Uh, yeah, you can just pay to steal stuff from the levels here. And people keep telling me to use passwords. I don't want to use passwords because I don't consider them legitimate. That seems like it would break the game. I mean, those Pokemon probably have better stats. An 84 out of 50, and I've seen pretty much everything, haven't I? Yeah, the only thing I haven't seen is Krabby, whatever Tangela evolves into. I guess that's Magmar in there. And Mr. Mime looks weird because I can't see his hair against the gray background. And then, uh, Porygon, Amastar, Kabutops, and Mewtwo. So I don't know why those last guys didn't show up. I would assume this water area, like, has a... I don't know what I would think would be beyond that, actually, if the boss Pokemon isn't even... Yeah, I don't understand this. Why is the boss of that area not close to the end? Let's just head to the Battle Royale. I will not have to think about the Kanto decks for a while because I presume after this Battle Royale we will be going, going to another B or C rank. Oh, hey, Moltres. I have all those guys. I, wonder if, I still wonder if it's like a mandatory, mandatory catcher if I'm just really lucky and stuff. Uh, when it got confused, I was like excited because I thought I would catch it because I forgot how this worked. And yeah, HP Drain is pretty good here because you can just throw it in random directions and let them take care of themselves. Um, I can't tell if things that kill each other still count for your kills, but it would be cool if they did. And if not, um, oh, I can still totally just do this. Pop, pop. Why didn't it just get louder all of a sudden? Pop, pop. HP Drain. HP drain, HP drain. I want HP drain to actually work. No. This is a bad, bad executor. I need to switch to my speedy thingy. I know what, I'm just gonna keep smacking things with HP drain. I want a Scyther. Oh, maybe that's the thing I couldn't figure out what it was. No, I've seen Scyther before, probably. I don't know what the thing I couldn't figure out what it was. was. Actually, it might have been. I have no idea where Scyther is. It might have been there. I forget the ordering of stuff once you get into the mid-hundreds, and also, 
I mean, I can tell, usually I can tell which Pokemon are next to each other in Pokedex, but I'm bad at remembering where they are specifically in the Pokedex. And I'm back to full health again. So I can actually start killing things, and I don't want to run out of time. That Cedar looked like it was a Legendary or something. I wonder what would happen if you traded 5 Cedar. They don't have any evolution or anything, of course. Okay. It would be horrible if the HP or if that had like gooey ooze or something and it damaged me when I used HP drain. Luckily abilities aren't retained in this. I'm getting pretty spot on with my leech seeds. When am I gonna get to the legendaries? Oh, okay, apparently fire types are still really good on me, so let's use that speedy victor bell because I remember that being pretty excellent in pro. That's totally good on the legendary birds, right? I think that's actually, yeah, that, that is doubly ineffective. Grass is doubly in ineffective on all three of the legendary birds, which is sort of funny. Man, that would be weird in Japan for to be called the Freeze Pokemon, and it, its name is Freeze. As I wronged people with my ice karma, I am on a mission to recruit karmas. My name is Freeze. Okay, I'm damaging Articuno first because it's the Ed and Moltres are the ones that would do the most to me if they hit me, I think. Or hit me with a type of other. What? Ah, Mutsu! Holy crap, that's really rad. Rad, rad, rad. Oh god. Okay, you can take care of those legendary birds, Mutsu. Oh gosh, that is a very strong Mutsu. Ah, I'm something that's double weak to it. What is something that isn't terrible? This Perky Zapdos isn't terrible. Meow, meow. What? Oh, I was using Aerial Ace when I meant to use not Aerial Ace. Ah, mirror match. Holy crap! Ah, I don't want to die to a Mutsu. Eh, didn't bring any good dark types. Oh, apparently that works if I can't get... Oh, ganging up on me. Okay, so we paralyzed. Of course, you used some stupid... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is scary. Do I catch Mewtwo for killing him in this? I hope so. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Luckily, I was able to keep it immobile. Ah, oh, I wanted to catch it somehow. Holy crap, I have to say, I was not expecting to be surprised by anything in this game, but I didn't... I thought Mewtwo, because of all those cutscenes, it was going to be the boss of EX or something. And it still looks like it has sunglasses once eyes are closed. I'm the king of Pokemon! Is that... Oh, that was a Rattata. I thought it was a, um, Snubble. And I was going to be like, well, that Snubble doesn't exist. That's a second generation Pokemon I'd actually be willing to pretend isn't in anything. No credits, hey. Do, 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 do. This is pretty good music. I would shut up now, but I have a feeling I'm going to see more credits in this. So I kind of like the fact that they started out with just the first generation. It's sort of, if you look at it, I mean, the bad graphics make this seem like bad graphics celebrating current era Nintendo, but other than that, it sort of gives me a feel like Pokemon Snap and the old timey Pokemon spin offs. Of course, all the new moves sort of ruin that feel, but still pretty cool how they gave the first gen a time to shine again after so long ago in Fire Red and Leaf Green when they were last given a time to shine, which basically they just broke Johto up into a bunch of terrible islands and made them the bonus area. Hmm, I have oh, there was another key, oh, I'm gonna eat it with my sunglasses. Uh Continue Ah Stunky Continue I want a Stunky, I want a Stunky do I get to start with a Stunky? I want a Stunky. 